Okay, we'll continue from the previous lecture that is types of function. So suppose a equal to x, y, z, b equals to 1, 2 and uh, all functions are on to except x1, y1, z1, f2 equals to x2, y2, z2. Here because uh, your uh, codomain is having 1, 2. So only the functions all the elements map to the same element is not on to. So remaining n raised to m minus 2 on to functions are exist for this f from a to b. Next suppose b equals to 1 to 3 for any set a with the size of a equals to m greater than or equal to 3. Then there are 3 choose 3, 3 raised to m minus 3 choose 2, 2 raised to m plus 3 choose 1, m 1 raised to m on two functions from a to b. In general, if a equals size of a equals to m, size of b equals to n, then there are n choose n, n raised to m minus n choose n minus 1, n minus 1 raised to m plus n choose n minus 2, n minus 2 raised to m, so on until plus 1 minus 1 raised to n minus 1, n choose 1, n raised to m. So these may on two functions will be there. So this we call it as a sterling number of the second order number of not sterling number this is the number of four two functions uh, from a to b we can have so for finite set a and b with size of b equals to m size of b equals to n this is a formula you should remember you can observe here it starts from n choose n n raised to m then you have negative plus minus plus minus and uh, this n remains constant throughout whereas this second element n minus 1 and here n minus 1 will change and again power remains the same. So here and here it fixed and only n minus 2, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 3. Here n at the end it is 1 choose 1 and 1. So this is how you can remember the number of on two functions from A to B. <clears throat> Suppose you have A with 7 elements, B with 4 elements, then the number of onto functions is written as like this. So it is n choose n. n is nothing but 4 choose 4, 4 raised to 7, minus 4 choose 3 into 3 raised to 7, plus 4 choose 2 into 2 raised to 7, minus 4 choose 1, 1 raised to 7, which is the 8, 4, 0, 0 functions from A to A onto B, that is onto functions. So this is like seven jobs assigned to four people. So likewise, we can take some uh, word problems. If there are there is one secretary and three assistants and seven jobs, in how many ways all jobs could be assigned? So there are uh, four people. That is one secretary and three assistants and seven seven jobs. All these seven jobs must be assigned to some of the people. So the number of onto functions with a equals to 7 and b equals to 4 is given by 8400 0, which we have already seen. There are 8, 7 jobs and each of the jobs must be assigned. In addition to a, additional condition is that the secretary is assigned with the costlier job. So the secretary is assigned with the costlier job. Then the remaining 7 jobs has to be assigned among 3 people. So in this case, we are assuming that the secretary will not uh, take the one more load. He will just be assigned with the costlier load. So it is 3 choose 3, 3 raised to 6, minus 3 choose 2, 2 raised to 6, plus 3 choose 1, 1 raised to 6, which is 540. Next is if the secretary does more than one job, expensive, though, then the number of jobs will be 6 and number of people will be 4. He will be assigned with uh, more than 1 also. So this will be the answer in that case. Next, let A equals to A, B, C, D and B equals to 1, 2, 3. Then find the number of onto functions from A to B. M equals to 4 and M equals to 3. So number of onto functions using your previous formula get as 36. That is, there are 36 ways to distribute four distinct objects into three distinguishable containers with no container empty. Here, we are not leaving any container empty. So, if the containers are indistinguishable, then there are six distributions which are identical. So, there are 36 divided by 3 factorial, which is six ways 
to distribute four distinct objects among three identical containers leaving no container empty. So for n greater than or equal to n there are summation n k varies from 0 to n minus 1 raise to k and choose n minus k n minus k raise to m. These many onto functions uh, which is the number of ways to distribute m distinct objects into n numbered container that means distinct containers with no container left empty. So removing the numbers on the containers there will be n factorial identical distribution. So the number of ways in which it is possible to distribute m distinct objects into n identical containers with no container left empty will be 1 by n factorial and this will be your previous number of onto function. This is denoted by s of m n. This is a sterling order of the second kind. If size of a equal to m greater than or equal to n which is size of b then there are n factorial into s of m n on two functions from a to b. <coughs> this is a formula you should remember. So if m and n are positive integers with one less than or equal to n less than or equal to m then s of m plus 1 n equals to s of m comma n minus 1 plus n into s of m. And this is a recursive formula for finding the sterling order of the second kind. So here some problem a equals to a b c d e that is m equals to 5 b equals to 1 to 8 so n equals to 8. Then the number of functions from a to b is n raised to m here it is 8 raised to 5. Then the number of onto functions is n choose n p m which is 8 p 5 and uh, since here m is less than or equal to n there are no onto functions and the number of on, on there are there is no onto functions so, hmm. the number of onto functions from b to a will be m raised to n which is 5 raised to 8 this is from b to a a to b you will not have onto functions and uh, there are n factorial into s of m and onto functions from b to a that is 5 factorial into s of 8 5 onto functions from b to a and since b is greater than or equal to size of a, no one to one function from b to a. So we will stop here and continue in the next video. Thank you.